Hello guys. Alright. Today I got this laptop. Actually it's kinda of broken the hand. The bottom corners. It just kinda of cover the bottom covers. Anyway. I got this laptop in for changing the hard drive. I'm gonna show you guys how to disassemble the laptop. It's an HP model number 14 dash R 016 Alright, I'm going to show you how you guys take it apart and how you change the hard drive or anything else you want to Also, I'm just going to show you a surprise How terrible they are made Because supposedly these laptops are meant For workstation, they're not like a tablet type So from inside they're supposed to have a ventilation The air goes through here and just comes through this end out in order to cool down the whole system like any other laptop this is for another hp computer another hp laptop so pretty much it happens the same way the air goes in goes through the dissipator and the whole uh, cpu and gpu just starts cooling down because the airflow and the heat sink that starts cooling down obviously and in here once we open it you guys are gonna see what's going on and you might want to think twice before buying an hp laptop all right let's get to it pretty much on this laptop these bottom covers are broken so if it's not in your case just remove the screws and just pull out and they just come out this one is gone uh, next thing remove the battery There you, go. you pull the battery out and uh, you're gonna remove the keyboard and screws and the whole everything from the bottom i got my automated screwdriver it's especially meant for laptops so don't comment about that i'm gonna kill i'm gonna do anything so we're moving on All the screws you can do this manually if you want with a screwdriver I do this all day long so these are screws are what they use in the manufacturing to screw the screws all right, you remove the bottom cover for the RAMs and there's only one RAM slot the other one is not even installed it's not even spaced for them to install it. So that's another one uh, that you can just upgrade. They could have just left you one part, but they actually make it look like you have actually two places or something. Who knows? Useless. Alright, you want to remove the DVD ROM because you already removed the screw for it. And there is two more screws under the DVD ROM. You want to remove those. And once you remove the screws, make sure everything is removed. So there's one more left here. And there's one more screw right under the cover that we took. And that's it. No more screws on the bottom. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just remove the keyboard. In order to remove the keyboard, you wanna find yourself a guitar pick. A plastic one or a metallic one. I use a metallic one. And the plastic one don't last long, so you can use it. But just be careful, don't squint it. The keyboard comes out from the top to the bottom on this model. So just put it slightly on the bottom, you're gonna find the clip. Right in there, just move it up slowly and that's it. Once you lift it, place another peg and just keep going all around. Two, three. Okay, so once you have it, put your hand and just pop it open on the two towards your side and that's it and watch out for the ribbon cable left the black cover or the hinge whatever you call it up and then you can remove the ribbon cable that's it that's your cable if you want to remove it now you got one two three screws here you gotta remove the three screws that holding the top cover And just put them to one side, you don't want to confuse them with the longer screws. 
next thing you want to remove the mouse pad and the mouse keys and then the on off switch ribbon just lift it and pull out let the black power and pull out next thing you want to do you want to put your pick through the corner just a little bit slowly go all around make sure you don't scratch in my case i don't think scratching matters that much all right once you lift it slowly wiggle it around it will just come out there we go and you are your on off button switch you can replace it if you want to your touchpad and that's it now this is the funny part there's the hard drive the motherboard and supposedly here is supposed to be a fan and the heat sink there is no fan and there is no heat sink just an aluminium tiny 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 aluminium like a very skinny like a I don't know what gauge they use it goes over the CPU this thing supposedly has to cool down the CPU with no airflow so that's just ridiculous it's actually designed for a fan here designed for it, but you just don't include it for the to save some money so pretty much what's gonna happen this plate is gonna start heating up heating up and then there is no way the heat can just dissipate out so it's just gonna accumulate here and the the processor is just gonna slow down the processor and then you're gonna have some lags and then a slow workstation that's just crappy thing to do for a client I'm gonna remove the motherboard so you can actually see in order to remove it remove the ribbon cable that holds the USB ports on the one side remove the USB screws and then the USB ports you want to remove the speaker just lift it up once you remove the speaker there's two screws that hold in the what's called the hard drive remove both of them and you just slide it to your right and that's it that's the hard drive if you want to replace it now remove the speaker from the motherboard one screw and you gotta remove the Wi-Fi board and another screw over there one over there one over here and the Wi-Fi curve just remove the Wi-Fi card for the one side and just make sure you remove the LCD cable there you go that's it once you remove the LCD cable slowly pull it out you still have to disconnect the power cable from the bottom and then it just comes up, wiggle around and comes up. That's it. So there we go. There is supposed to be a fan there and the dissipating because there's a whole ventilation for it. Yeah with this thing. And the surprise comes right here. This fucking tiny not it's a big one but it's very skinny aluminium sheet. It's supposed to grab the heat from the CPU which is integrated on the board and just dissipate it to here and to out and to save some buck they don't want to put any fan or anything like that so yeah there's no case for me ah, let me remove it to see yeah I'm gonna remove the heat sink One. here you can repaste it, but it's not necessary because it's a crap thing. There you go. Well, oh, they don't even put a thermal paste, they put a thermal pad on it to make it even worse. So that's it. You just got this tiny, not even, there's no weight to it. This thing's supposed to cool down your CPU. Pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place some thermal paste. You can place whichever you want, RTX 05 or 
MX4. Oh, could I say MX4 right now? Because I just really don't care. This came in for a change of hard drive replacement, not a service. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna pull the legs a little higher so we can actually have some pressure on the CPU. So I'm gonna fold this one so I can work on top. Now we're gonna put the screws back in. So you see, this is why you should not buy an HP laptop. This is one of the cases. There are many, many other cases I can show, which I'll be posting the videos as I go along. So this is one of the reasons that you're not supposed to buy a cheap HP laptop. You better off buying a tablet. All right. You have to put it back in. You plug in your power jack cable. Goes in, will be great. There you go. Now, uh, watch the audio cable. The speakers, I mean. All right, that's it. Now, you can put the whole thing on top. Doesn't matter. Plug in the LCD cable. And plug in. The Wi Fi board, screw the Wi Fi board. I lowered the torque on this one so I don't actually damage the plastic. If you want to even tie there, so you put the screws for the motherboard, one over there, one over here. Now you want to change the hard drive if you want to, or already change this hard drive. It came with a different hardware. It came with this one, which is dead because they dropped it. So I don't see a reason why they put two screws in it. It's just to not to slide it that way. You don't need two screws to hold the freaking hard drive. If one is enough, but what can I say? They spend extra money, extra material to put extra metal screws there, but they just don't want to play some heat sink. So they have unnecessary stuff in here. You put the speakers in, run the cable through the plastic, place in the USB port. Oh, before that, you put the screws for the speaker. And put the board, put the screw for the board. Alright, now you're gonna plug in the ribbon cable for the audio port. That's done, and plug in the speakers for the motherboard. Done, done. Okay, what else do I have left? Anything else? No? I'm missing a fan. <laughs> That's not my fault. Alright, now you can place the top cover, you just push it in, it just pops in from the corner. Okay, let me see this corner. Something is up. No? It's fine. Just because they dropped it, so it just actually doesn't pop in nicely. There's a gap there. There you go. Now you're gonna place the three screws on that one of the keyboard to hold the place. And that's it. Now you're gonna pop in the on off switch and just be very gentle with these ribbon cables. They're like a 
I know already the other key. You lift the black cover, put the keyboard upside down, pull the flex, clean it with your hand, and push it in and pull the cover back up. And then slowly, the bottom part goes in first, corners, and then on top you just push it in, it just clips in. And that's it. Now we're gonna screw the whole thing on the bottom. First we're gonna put the two flat screws on this end so we can place the CD roll or DVD roll or Blu-ray or whatever they call it. And now all the screws that goes in. One two. And this is how you disassemble and assemble an HP laptop. Uh, pretty much, I'm just gonna format this laptop. That's what the client wanted. So, it's pretty much a useless laptop. Well, that's how I didn't put a screw. Alright. And then the screw for the CD ROM. And you put the cover back in. And you're done. Any other thing, just leave a comment. I'll respond as soon as I can. Yeah, this way you can actually. I'm gonna put a fucking tape there or something. And put the battery back. Alright guys, I hope you like the video, subscribe and just click like. The laptop is okay. I'm not gonna turn around because it's just gonna open another computer right now. And this is gonna go to another station to be formatted.